Hi, pretty pretty simmers. It's pretty pretty plum bobs here back for another video And I wanted to do something a little bit different today This is kind of gonna be like a channel update slash life update um, I'm actually filming the voiceover before I even film the video So I'm not even sure exactly what you guys are gonna be watching in the background um, Probably some Barry Sims if I know myself <laughs> uh, You probably all know me too at this point. I, I love my Barry Sims, but yeah I mostly wanted to kind of talk about I've, I've actually taken a little step back and disappeared a little bit Bit in the past couple of weeks just because I've had so much going on in my regular life that I haven't been able to be as like present and integrated into the community here on YouTube as maybe I was before um, and and I'm, I'm really missing it to be honest I miss like commenting on all your guys' videos I was spending like pretty much all day watching Sims videos um, and keeping up with all, all my favorite creators here but um, it's been really challenging for me lately. I've actually had my wisdom teeth coming in, which is kind of funny. I'm actually, I'm 27, you guys, so like I'm a little old for this game. <laughs> uh, not for The Sims, but for my wisdom teeth coming in. Um, so <laughs> I've been, I've, I've had like very bad infection and I've been on antibiotics and I've been dealing with like feeling a bit sick from that on and off. Um, and then on top of that, I'm actually leaving my house in Guatemala to return to New Orleans, which was my home before Guatemala. So I've been here in Guatemala for about two years and now, um, partly because of Corona, but partly just because, um, it's about time. I'm, I'm starting to make plans to head back to New Orleans. So I've been like planning international travel during all of this obviously COVID craziness um, and it's been really challenging for me to like be booking flights and then also booking ground transportation because there's limitations on that here in Guatemala where I can't like get to the city or the airport without having like permission papers to be traveling into the city because that's kind of an epicenter for us right now um, here. So things are just complicated. Um, I'm also actually getting a surgery this weekend to have my wisdom teeth or my yeah my upper wisdom teeth removed, um, which I'm super nervous for. I have to go to a town that's like across the lake from where I live, um, and like I mentioned, there's a lot of like ground travel restrictions right now and stuff. So the day after I'm or two days after I'm filming this, I'm filming this on a Thursday, and on Saturday, I'm actually getting my top two wisdom teeth removed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film. Um, I don't know if I will feel up to like, hopefully all I'll feel like doing is watching Sims YouTube videos, to be honest. Like hopefully I'll be able to channel by channel, like catch up on everybody's content, um, and really just kind of like space out and like, um, yeah, wa watch some sim stuff. Um, <laughs> that being said, if I normally comment on your videos and I haven't been, I do apologize. I, I really do honestly like miss the community and miss being a little bit more involved. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping once I'm in New Orleans that um, I will be able to kind of step that up again, um, especially because my internet there will be so much faster than it is here in rural Guatemala where it takes me three days to actually upload a video. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I've been a little bit sick, a little bit under the weather, a little bit in bed, a little bit planning international travel during COVID, a little bit, a lot of different things um, that have been keeping me from being fully here on YouTube and with my channel. That being said, I'm definitely going to still be posting my two series consistently Monday and Thursday. Um, I'm going to be recording some 100 Berry Baby videos before the surgery and also my Eco Lifestyle series. Um, so those will still be coming out regularly as they have been for the past couple weeks. Mostly all of this information just pertains to kind of like all the little extras on my channel. Like I, I made a Twitter account and I was super excited to jump into that community and then all of this kind of hit and I haven't even really been able to explore it yet um, and same thing with my Instagram which I actually love Instagram and I love keeping an Instagram but I just like haven't been able to update regularly because of yeah everything I, I've had going on and it's been a little bit hard for me to make this video and kind of hard for me to admit that like I have been um struggling in all of these areas I guess I don't know I'm doing okay you guys I'm not really struggling but you know what I mean like just because I do tend to be like a pretty type a person and I like to be on top of everything that I'm doing all of the time um especially with this channel because I, I I just love it it's something that I'm really doing like for me and to to meet you guys and build community I've never had people that I can like talk to 
about The Sims before, so I just love and appreciate that so much and really appreciate the community um, that I've made here and met here and, and everybody who watches my videos. I really, it just means the world to me to be able to talk to you and everything, um, but if I've, I've been a little late on answering your comments or something like that, um, now you know why. Even with this video itself, like the reason that it's been going on for two or maybe two and a half weeks like this and I haven't said anything yet is because I was really hoping to do another face cam video for you guys. The only reason I don't usually do that um, is because my, my computer can't totally handle recording my face and my game at the same time, but when I'm doing like voiceovers like this and stuff, I can do face cam, so I was hoping to do a face cam video for you guys, but I am just like not totally feeling up to it, haven't had the time to clean, you know, the house and myself and everything to the point where I want to like totally be on camera after having been sick. It, it, or sick on and off for the past um, couple of weeks so you'll have to excuse that you guys but once I get to New Orleans um, I'm hoping to do a lot more like face cam stuff a lot more streaming too I'm super super um, interested in trying streaming here on YouTube um, honestly I haven't been able to watch Twitch videos here in Guatemala because like I mentioned the internet and buffering times tend to be really really slow and I tend to not be able to like keep up with a stream um but once I'm back in the states I should have should have <laughs> good enough internet that I am able to like do that kind of thing and maybe jump into that community a little bit too um so that's kind of the plan as of now um I'm going to leave this off to different times Samantha so she can come back and talk to you guys about whatever is going on in this video oh 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 you guys one more thing before I forget for those of you waiting for Whiskey Romeo's Bachelor Challenge, I had four amazing simmers um, make ladies for him to go on dates with. So that would be Simming Slytherin, Simmer Sanders, Pup Simsy, and Poppy Llama all made beautiful, beautiful bachelorettes for Whiskey Romeo to take on a date. And I am sorry that it's taking me so long. It is because of all this other stuff going on, um, but also because I'm putting a lot of thought into it. I've, I've kind of developed the perfect date for each of the ladies, and then I've like put lots into the world. I have a whole save file for them, basically, because um, I didn't just want it to be thrown together. So I think that that is going to be a two-part series. I've already filmed the intro for it, so it is in the works. It's coming soon, um, but it's just kind of fallen behind a little bit because of all the other stuff. But yes, I. I do have the Whiskey Romeo challenge coming out um, and I'm really excited to share that with you all. All right, you guys, so let's talk about this video. What I am doing in the background here is actually making berry townies for my 100 berry baby file. So I do have a MC command center mod that kind of mimics story progression in the game. So what it does is it takes my random generated townies and it mixes them all up between households and then it enables them to um, form relationships and have pregnancies and um, yeah have have babies basically um, so that the world continues to repopulate and I put a bunch of berry sims in in the beginning of the game um, so that they kind of mix with the general gene pool and we end up with some berry sims um, who are children and uh, toddlers floating around in the world so eventually all of our babies and our family can be friends with them. So that's the idea anyways but honestly the mixing of the households is just so random and sometimes like fairy sims end up with like standard townies and this and that. Um, so they all end up needing berry makeovers. <laughs> so whenever I'm like kind of bored and want to play some Sims but don't want to record, I've just been going in and giving berry makeovers to all the townies in this world. So anyways, you might recognize the first two Sims I've made over here as Lucas and Myla Munch, who are um, pre-made townies in the land of Windenburg in the get together pack. Um, I think that Lucas actually usually has two older brothers but they've already aged out of the house. Um, both him and Myla are a little bit older than they start out as and one of our um, babies in my 100 berry baby challenge was actually flirting with Lucas in a bar and I thought they'd be cute together but of course we had to make him a berry before anything like that could happen. Um, so I won't I won't spoil too much of the story but yes Lucas will be in our 100 berry baby challenge coming up. And then the little Barry toddler I made over and her mother. Um, I don't think either of them are standard townies in the game. They're just random people that spawned into my save file. Um, but it was really, really fun making them over. Here I am thinking that I'm giving guys like this really fun, creative, diverse Barry thing. But my boyfriend pointed out to me when I was showing this to him um, that literally every single one of these berries that I made over is pink. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess I'm in a pink mood today. Like usually I do like have a lot of colors in my berry sim. So I don't know what happened. 
happened. Um, hopefully you can appreciate the pinkness and we can just have a pink theme for today. Um, I really love this last older lady that I made over. She's kind of like a glamorous, spunky lady. Um, she has like really quirky traits and yeah, I just had a lot of fun doing this. So I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Um, and if you do enjoy these, yeah, I'm happy to always record when I when I do my little berry towny makeovers. And we can have tons of these berry, you know, makeovers all the time because I do it all the time and I want to eventually turn my whole 100 berry um, save into a totally berry world. But I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and understanding that I'm not maybe <laughs> as present as I was before but I will be back soon I promise. Um, and other than that I hope you are all doing very well and are happy and healthy and enjoying your lives and other than that I guess I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. So, so y'all.